Hi, it's Natalie, Seriously Limited. I am here to talk to you about registering for Make Attacks Digital for VAT. Um, we've spoken about this topic before. There have been progresses by the revenue. And last time I got told my videos were a little bit boring. So I thought I'd try and make it a bit more interesting this time by having some nice flamingos. So, on we go. So, many of you will now have submitted your final making tax non-making tax digital VAT return to the revenue. You will have paid that hopefully by now and will be ready to register for making tax digital. So, how do we do that? So, first off, we need to go to the revenues website and go and search in there for VAT. Uh, follow some links until you get to how you sign up for making tax tax digital. I will try and put a link to that page where it currently sits as at the 25th of May um, in the comments section down below. So it's moving on. We're all starting to recognize the symbol now hopefully. So once we click through this is where we're going to end up with and the questions are quite straightforward and we just have to follow the screens and answer them. So do you have accounting software for managing your VAT records? So if you don't have some MTD compatible software, then you're going to need to look into that or perhaps speak to your accountant about bridging software. Um, my preference would be Xero, Sage, Free Agent, QuickBooks Online. They are the, the main ones, in my opinion, that cover a multitude of industries. So we would obviously here be clicking, yes, I have accounting software. If you don't, give me a ring and I'll help you get set up. Next, it's going to ask us, is your software ready to submit making tax digital for VAT returns directly to HMRC? Hopefully you pick one of the ones we just spoke about and you'll be able to click yes. Sign in using the government gateway. So this is how you would usually sign in to submit a VAT return. So you just want to type in that gateway ID and your password and click the green button. Now, if you don't have so this page here is check your government gateway details. So once you've signed in, it should be giving you the correct name and the email address you have with, registered with them. I think that's just checking that they are picking up the right person. So we need to confirm that the details are correct by popping the tick in the box yes and click continue. So again, the full name and the email address will be populated already. It's not something that you'll need to type in here. If you haven't already set up recovery details, it's going to prompt you to do that. You can either do that at this stage or you can click the blue writing underneath that says set this up another time. That's what I did for this example. So you're going to get your text message to your phone if that's how you have your secondary level of authentication. Alternatively, you might be using an authentication app to generate a code, at which point you'll need to type that in here. But we've received a text message for the purpose of this example. Again, it's asking us to set up the backup security. I clicked, I can't do this right now. You could obviously do that at this point if you want to. It's confirming that we haven't set up a backup, that's fine, continue. So this is where I have said no, I only have one VAT registered business, so I click continue. So now on this screen, we must choose which type of business we are. So for the purposes of this example, we are a limited company. So the screens you'll see after this are what you would see if you were a limited company. If you are a sole trader, a partnership, something else, some other type of company, the next questions to identify your business will be slightly different, but the principles will be the same. So that's the bottom half of that same screen. So we put a tick in the box for the one we want, or a dot in the, box, in the circle, and we click continue. What is your company registration number? So obviously this is our company's house registration number because we are talking about registering a limited company of the AT. If you were a sole trader, it would now be asking you for something different. And again, for a partnership, it would be asking you for your partnership UTR. It will then return to you the company address here or the company name here for you to confirm that it has found the correct company. If not, you can obviously go back and change the company. Here we type in the company's unique tax payer reference number. Um, it's a 10 digit number 
and you should have that on any corporation tax correspondence you've received from the revenue. And if you can't get any of that to hand, I can be quite sure your accountant will probably have that on record for you. So a quick call to them to get that sorted. Here it's confirming all the information we've just given it. I have blocked out the answers to the company number and the UTR reference for obvious data protection reasons but here it would be returning to you the correct information. So if you were happy that that was all correct, you would click continue. You then need to give an email address for the revenue to write to you within the next 72 hours to confirm that the move to the Making Tax Digital system has been completed. Uh, once you type in the email address and click continue, you'll see in the next screen, it's gonna ask you to check it. It's gonna have it pre-filled as the way you've just typed it, click continue. It's gonna send you an email now. So once you get that email, it, does, it did, li did literally take about 30 seconds for it to come through, it was very quick. You click the link within the email and that will redirect you back to this government gateway where you'll need to confirm your username and password and sign in. And that just proves that you are the correct person and have the authority to register for making tax digital and that you exist in real life. Once you've done that, it's just a waiting game for the next 72 hours. Wait for the email to come through to confirm it's all been done, at which point you will then need to go into your chosen software and grant authority for the software to be linked to your new MTD portal. Now to log into the new MTD portal, you will still use the same username and password that you've always used. You don't need to set up new ones. So if you need any help with this, check out our website give us a call at the office and we'll be happy to help you with any stage of this. And if you're wondering how to link Zero and Grant Authority for Zero, check out one of our videos on the channel. Thanks, bye.